Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to use this guy and do the simplest setup you possibly can to test out the relays. To begin, you need to have your soldering relay hat, a Raspberry Pi, and a standoff for the Raspberry Pi to hold everything. So to begin, you need to mount the hat onto the Raspberry Pi. Uh, use the two standoff legs, and then place the hat on top of the Pi, making sure all the pins are secured. After the hat is placed on the Pi, now place the Pi on the standoff. Uh, begin plugging in the power cable, the HDMI cable, and the Ethernet cable. After everything's hooked up, uh, connect the Pi to display and power on the Pi, and make sure it boots normally. Um, this would be a good time to enable SSH on the Raspberry Pi. You'll also need to find the Raspberry Pi's IP address, typing in sudo ifconfig. Now connect the 120 circuit as shown uh, following this diagram. Connect the hot side through the relay and disconnect that when you're using it for control. Uh, a good warning now would be to say that 120 volt is dangerous, it can destroy things, it hurts really bad, and if it has a pacemaker it can kill you. So yeah, watch out and use it wisely. Now log into the Pi using SSH. Um, there's a lot of great tutorials out there, so I'll link in a video. Um, afterwards, just type in these simple commands using bash scripting, and then it'll turn on and off the light bulb. And this is probably the easiest way to actually control the relay app from the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching my video and a special thanks to UT Source for sending me the uh, Raspberry Pi hat and I hope this helps.